Right now, we got Jax up, right? Because he has this shit, right? <laughs> Fatal blow. It's 11 frames. Pretty fast, right? It's a good It's a good thing to illustrate the point that we're trying to make here. Somebody in chat is asking about uh, why, why is it not consistent that I can grab Fatal Blows or even, like, Armor Break, right? Isn't Liu Kang's fucking shit Armor Break? He's fucking grab it. That, right? Yeah, so I can do that. Oh shit, hold on. Break the armor, right? But that's because that's an armor break. But otherwise, right, you just fucking try to grab them and you get blown up. A lot of times you'll try to do wake up grab. The reason for that is that fatal blows, they have armor, right? If I hit him, I do something like really. Right? Hold on. You just, uh, oh, here we go. I'll do this, right? I'll do this fireball. Right? The button doesn't matter. He's going to blow it up. Armor's through it. But the thing is, the armor doesn't start on frame one. The armor starts on frame eight, right? So they input L2, R2, or whatever the fuck their fatal blow uh, input is. And then it goes through eight frames of animation where they are vulnerable. Or, yeah, where they are vulnerable, right? They cannot. No, they will get interrupted. Right, eight frames. It's very fast. It's not like you have a lot of time, right? Eight frames of animation where it will not fucking, you know, it will not armor out. And then on the eighth frame, now the armor is activated and you cannot hit them out of the fatal blow. So when you're trying to grab them and you hit them with a grab during their fatal blow startup, it's because you caught them in that eight frames. You did your grab at a certain point where they, like, if you did it off of, what does Liu Kang have that's plus on block? Does he have anything that's plus on block? Standing four, right? So Jax's grab is eight frame or eleven frames, right? So I should be able to do standing four and the grab. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, it doesn't reach. It doesn't reach because of the pushback. Let me try it in the corner. But you should be able to do this, right? You should be able to do standing four, frame trap him, and then grab him. Oh no, because he's doing it as a reversal. He's doing it as a reversal. It's coming out on frame one, 11 frames. So I'd have to do grab frame perfectly at that range to catch it. And his hand will hit me beforehand. Bad example. Do we have anything else that's plus on block? Can I get like a plus two or some shit? Oh, that forward four string, right? That dumb shit. That stupid Liu Kang fucking, yeah, that's plus four. Yeah, we're doing that, right? we'll do this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's not coming out because of the spacing. But you could interrupt it. What can I interrupt it? I thought I could interrupt it. Right? You, could, you could interrupt that. Right? You see how I got the down four and it's armored through? If I had a move that was enough plus or enough fast enough, right, to where I could get it out even after the pushback on the plus, it would interrupt it. This is probably a bad example because the best way to interrupt it with Liu Kang is just the fucking command it. Right? Like, that's really, like, that's a character-specific thing. But there's stuff that you can do when you think your opponent is going to flaw or fatal blow that you can bait it out and interrupt it. Um, like, if you have plus frames, right, and you think that they're going to fatal blow, you can use certain plus frames to beat them out, even if they input it as a reversal, because they have eight frames. So whatever your plus, it's that much time plus the eight frames before they're invincible. So if I do a down one, right... Let's just see. Let me show you off of a down one. And this is this is like one of those common traps to catch scrubs that do this shit. Like one of the common beginner traps. Because down one is plus 14, right? So you'll do down one and he, he can't get that fatal blow out, man. Like he can't. I'm going to fucking do down one into down one. I'm going to record myself doing down one into down one. Okay. And then you'll see that, like, you can't get anything, right? If you're Liu Kang down one, you get down one, right? So you will be awesome. So even if I do the fatal blow, right? Oh, you know what? Let me do down one into stand one. That's all right? Hold on, fucking shit. Let me... Okay, down one. Okay, we'll just do that basic shit. Right? You see how... Hold on, let him hit me. Even though I do the fl fatal blow, right? If I block it and go for it, it still interrupts. Even if I block it and go for the interrupt, or go for fatal blow on his pressure, as a reversal, oh, I actually catches it on a reversal. But if I do it like on a hit control, 
if I do it on a confirm, it's going to get interrupted. And you can do the same thing with grab, right? So you can set it up to be Liu Kang doing grab, right? You can set that up, right? And then grab. Plus one. And if he lands that, right? Even if I do the thing, like, that's the setup, right? Boom. Eight frames. It's eight frames. So his down one is plus 14, and you're adding eight to that. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21, right? 21 frames. Is that, or no, 22? I don't fucking know. Listen, math is not my forte, all right? I don't do that shit. But he's plus like a billion. So even if I did Fatal Blow, and this is one of the fastest Fatal Blows in the game at 11 frames, right? So even if I did it the fastest possible timing on that is still going to get interrupted. That's why you're not finding the inconsistent, or that's why you're not finding the consistency. You see how I'm interrupting it, and it's coming out on the first possible frame, right? Let me do it as a reversal, right? It's not coming out, man. It's not. It's going to get interrupted. That's how you do it. That's how you set up the frame traps. If you think your opponent is going to just throw out fatal blows willy-nilly like a fucking moron, you, you could bait that shit out if you know that there's eight frames. That's why it's important that you know your frame data. At, after a certain point, not knowing your frame data is a detriment. Like, you don't have to know the exact frames. Like, I don't know. I didn't know that Liu Kang's down one is plus 14, but I know that down ones are generally in that range of plus 14, 15, right? I know generally, it may, maybe I don't know exactly, some are plus 13, some are plus like 19. It depends on the character, but I know that plus 15 range, and I know if I frame trap you at plus 15, that even if you did your fatal blow on the first available frame that you gain control of your character, I'm still going to interrupt it because that fatal blow starts up in 11 frames before it can hit me, 8 frames before it's even armored, right? So as long as I get you in a frame trap, and whatever you're doing isn't going to be faster than the negative frames you're going to be at, so I'm going to interrupt you. That's how you set up frame traps to catch fatal blow. Like, people doing fatal blow in the neutral, like, that's just hard reads. But if somebody's doing fatal blow, like, up close and you expect that they're like really trigger happy you can kind of bait that shit you can bait that shit and just wait because you know like even with fatal blow it's a very powerful tool but that it, it's not invincible and that's why i keep saying that fatal blow is actually stronger when you don't use it right i've said it a million times like the threat of fatal blow is scary especially when you have a fucking idiot like jackson right that fucking idiot we're like full screen haha you did anything other than neutral duck and this motherfucker's coming out, right? You did anything other than neutral duck. If you block, now I'm in mashing in your face. Even though he's negative, right? Nobody fucking cares. If you're a Jax character, they don't care if you're fucking negative, right? Right? Fucking Jax. Well, uh, wrong one. This one, right? You're only minus if you're a bitch. as Jax players. So, like, at any point, you're not neutral ducking against Jax, and he has fatal blow. You've lost. You've lost. He either gets in and mashes on you because it's online and nobody fucking cares, or he hits you, and then your health is deleted. So, like, at the end of the day, if you know your opponent is going to mash out their fatal blow, you can do things to kind of set that up, right? It's the mind games. It's the conditioning your opponent, right? I've made the read that this guy's just a fucking idiot. that's just going to mash out fatal blow whenever he gets a chance. So I'm going to do down one, and then I'm going to grab him. Or if I have a crushing blow, right? Like, if I have some sort of attack that gives me a crushing blow, look, dude. Look at this shit. Let me record Liu Kang, right? Because this should be a lot of fun. Right? Get down one. All right, bam. Boom, right? So you gonna hit me. I'm gonna do the fatal blow. Let me do a fatal blow. Ooh, I'm getting... My frame trap is too good. Oh. I can't even get it. Oh. I can't get it because my frame trap was too tight. Let me let me uh let me uh, let me re-record the frame trap because I'm not getting any buttons now. Okay, that frame trap was too tight. You see how you can do that, right? You can leave a little bit of space in there and do something super slow. As long as you know the frames and you know the uh you know you know the traps, right? You see how I did the even slower one? Like if I did the frame trap too good, he doesn't even get a button now because I'm mashing that shit as fast as possible. So I actually had to leave a gap in there and make myself a little bit negative so that way the button would actually register and then I could get the interrupt on the flaws block. That's kind of like frame traps 101 though, right? Like that's like frame trap beginner. I've already kind of covered frame traps, but that's like one of the beginner things when you intentionally leave yourself negative to get the interrupt out. Uh, or not to get the interrupt, but to bait the interrupt, 
right? You leave yourself just negative enough to where they can get a button out, but that button is still not going to hit because, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's another topic. Going back to our original topic, that is why you keep getting blown up by fatal blows sometimes. Sometimes you blow it up and sometimes you don't. It's because you didn't time interrupting it. You have to time it early, eight frames. So you have to know, like, if you knock them down, right? Knock down. Hold on. Like, you knock your, hold on, stop it. Knock them down, right? You know that that takes 20 frames or whatever to get up. So you can time your meaty to blow up, wake up, fatal blow, right? Especially if they delay. They'll delay, and then they can't do a up three or a roll. Like so, it comes down to wake up buttons, neutral jump, or fatal blow. And sometimes they'll just wake up fatal blow. But if you wait, right? Oh, hey, thanks for the follower, uh, child of biohazard. Um, but if you wait for, you know, if you wait for the fatal blow, you can interrupt it. I think I've lost my train of thought. Doesn't matter. You guys get the point, right? Like, comment, subscribe, so that way you don't get fatal blowed in the fucking negatives, right? In your fucking negative neutrals. What are you guys talking about, chat? Does anybody have anything to add? Let's see, bougie badger. Yeah, I'm pretty bougie. Yeah, nobody has any nobody has any questions on that. All right, so I'm just going to leave that at that.